Hi everyone, it's Miss Chen here. Today is January the 27th, 2016. Yesterday in math, we learned about flipping our add ends. So before we get started today, let's remind ourselves about our number sentences and the parts that make up our number sentences. Here is a number sentence. Remember, we learned that these two numbers, the two and the three, are called add ends. So let's go ahead and label our number sentence. Remember, the two and the three are add ends. When we add the two and the three together, we get five. Let's remember that that's called our sum. Awesome work, everyone. Okay, let's move along. We're gonna continue working with two plus three equals five. The first thing we're gonna do is we are going to check to see what happens when we flip these two numbers around. Let's try it out. Here is the first number. The first number is three. We are going to draw three squares. plus two. We are going to draw two circles equals how many? Let's count to check. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm, interesting. Let's flip those add ends again to see if anything changes. Let's take a look at it again. Here we go. Two, plus three equals, let's check, one, two, one, two, three. Let's check, one, two, three, four, five. Two plus three equals five, and three plus two equals five. So friends, what I want us to remember from today's lesson is it doesn't matter which order we have our add ends or sum will always be the same. So three plus two is the same as two plus three. Another way that we can write this down to help us remember is like this. We can say three plus two is equal to or the same as two plus three. Remember, if we put these on the seesaw, like we do in class, they will be the same, balancing all very nicely on our seesaw. So three plus two and two plus three. And our answer is five, five in the middle. I hope you've enjoyed our lesson today. Always remember, if you're not sure what to do, draw a picture. Think about it and try again. 